Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to create a Power BI dashboard in minutes. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and analytics skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data science and data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with world leading universities like Caltech, Purdue, IIT Kanpur, and many more. Through these courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise and skills like advanced Excel. Python, machine learning, data visualization, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier data and product companies, and also the academicians from the top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science or data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data science and data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started with today's topic, which is about how to create Power BI dashboard in a few minutes. Yes, you heard me right. You can create a complete Power BI dashboard or also known as a report in just a few clicks and a few minutes. Now, in this particular video, we are minimizing the time in creating dashboard because sometimes data cleaning process, you already know if you're an expert or if you're a beginner in data analytics, you already know there are steps in data report or a dashboard, right? First, you load the data from a source. It can be cloud, PDF, Excel workbook, CSV or anything. And after that, you do some data cleaning, right? You split the columns or you eliminate some blank rows, blank columns, and some irrelevant data which does not fit or some, uh, for more reference on data cleaning, you can also refer to the video, which is linked in the description box below. And so, right, that's the process. So basically, you import the data from the source, clean it, transform it, and then load it, and then create a dashboard. Right. So in this particular video, we have the completely cleaned data set, which is really available for creating a report, which will be also linked in the description box below if you want to follow us along. So um, with that, uh, let's get started. Right. So that's how it goes. Now, let's have a look at our data. So our data has uh, some row ID, order ID, audit date, ship date. So basically, you can totally understand this particular data set is about sales report right let's say i'm working with xyz company which is based on data analytics and i get an email from my client that he or she wants to know how exactly the sales are performing in what exact states or countries and uh, what exact regions and uh, what category of products or subcategory of products and what's the sales quantity order profit right so let's say you have a one uh, category or subcategory or a product which is giving you a high number of sales and profit, right? You want to improve more, you can increase the price. Or let's say you have some product which is not performing so well, right? So you can uh, offer some uh, discounts, let's say like 50% off, so that you can move out the product from your store, right? So some, uh, basically if you analyze the data and you come up to a decision where which product is performing in which region or state or country and which product is performing in not performing in which region, state or country, right? You can come up with a strategy for sales and improve your revenue. So that's the entire process, right? So with that said, so this is the data we have. And let's quickly jump onto Power BI and get going with creating a report or a dashboard within a few minutes, right? So here we are on the Power BI desktop. So here 
absolutely you can see you can import data from excel you can import data from sql server you can import data from a blank table or use some sample data apart from that you can also get data from a different sources as well right see uh, we will be trying to do some automation right so regarding the automation we can also uh, go through another video from simply learn which will help you understand how to automate the process of data transformation cleaning and uploading so uh, you can just give the file location here the folder so i'm going to go the folder here so it will give me a new window uh, you can go to browse and i think i have my folder in uh, downloads and uh, excel data sets uh, excel i think i'll be having that named as sales report yes just click ok and you have the sales report here you can have a quick preview of the data so here you have the options combine load transform data right you can just directly load because i've said you that this particular data set is completely clean and is ready for reports right so you can just select the data you want and just load right i'm doing it this way because let's say uh, for let's not not let's say uh, we have uh, the data here in a form in in such a form that the data is from last three to four years right so let me select it this way so in this case as well it will take the excel file and uh, even if you add some more data to it it will uh, apply the changes to it right so let's say uh, we have the data for the last four years 2020, 2019, 2021, 2 and 3. And since 2024 is not completed yet, we are not taking that data. Let's say we enter into 2025, then the new data for 2024 gets updated and loaded onto the same data table. And you don't have to, uh, you know, process the data once again, clean it, transform it, load it. No, that's not going to happen. You can just load the data, you can just drop the data on the Excel spreadsheet and your dashboard or report will reflect the new changes automatically just by refreshing the dashboard, right? That's the automation you can do. So what exactly automation is? The process where human effort is not involved and the computer or your any uh, tool does the job for you is called as automation, which reduces a lot of time of yours. And you can use that valuable time to plan on the strategies to improve your revenue, right? That's the overall motto of data analytics. Now that's the uh, preview of the data. I'm just going to directly load it. I'm not going to transform it because uh, it's completely clean and transformed data and ready for reports. So here you go. And uh, you can close if there are minute errors, you can just close it and uh, if you want to check your data you can go to your data here and you can have the sample data right here right if you check the r date not ship date sorry uh, ship date can enter into uh, 2023 as well right so here you have uh, 2020 and uh, the other dates right so you will have okay let's go to the data filter so you'll you basically have four years not 2024 right so uh, that's the way if you just add the 2024 data it will automatically reflect in the visualization now uh, all that we need is create a dashboard or report which will help us analyze some data right so uh, let's get started just double click on the report section and here you will have icon or uh, wizard which will ask you what exactly you're looking for preparing q a so i want region wise sales and i want it in a bar graph there you go you have the region wise sales in bar graph press on uh, okay and you have it and you can place it somewhere in the corner and then if you want another one double click and you want category wise category sales and let's take that in pie chart category sales pie and here you have it press on agree and accept and you have it over here and year on year sales in a line graph sales by date or sales by 
sales by date, line graph. Here you have it, except that. So that you can identify which is the peak uh, performance year or peak performance date for us, which gave us the highest number of sales in a certain region, right? So here we have it. You can place it, you can customize it, right? And now let's go for subcategory, double click and uh, subcategory. I think we have a hyphen of space there. Sales, uh, the type of chart you want, you can go with the donut one. Select that and agree. So you have a subcategory of voice sale. And now let's go with uh, region voice. I mean, the country voice, right? So let's go to the data again here. So here we have segment city, state, country. Okay, let's go with country now right country country sales map chart so whenever you have a region or state or a country involved go with map charts it's the best way to represent right so we have considered european nations over here so for that reason we have the european states here and uh, now we can go with let's go with the data once again and have a look what else we can do and ship it mode right so you have the shipment mode as well so uh, you can identify what type of shipment mode customers are majorly preferring shipment mode bar graph actually so basically i think we have uh, three types of shipment mode Let's check the column name of shipment mode properly. Ship mode. It's not shipment mode. It's ship mode. Right? So let's type again. Ship mode. Bar. Graph. Okay. Shipment mode sales. Bar graph. There you go. So agree. Accept it. So you have uh, standard shipment is the most preferred one. Now we have this, so let's add some KPIs here. So uh, KPI of sales. You will adjust that. Agree. There you go. And let's add a KPI for profit. And you have it. Agree. KPI for revenue. Double click. Let's check if we have a column called revenue, quantity, discount, profit, right? So let's go with quantity and discount. So revenue is not added, so it's okay. So you can identify which uh, uh, product or subcategory is highly selling in, in number of quantities. So you'll have, you'll have uh, the sum of profits, sum of sales, sum of quantity, and what else we left? The last one, discount and rate. Sales, discount, profit. So let's identify if we have offered any. Okay. So let's add a KPI of rate as well. If we are completely focusing on a single product, a single category, we must be having uh, a KPI for rate as well double click somewhere kpi on rate there you go accept it and you have the completely formatted dashboard or sales report ready for a meeting let's close all these so that we have a better visualization and you can just go to the uh, slide share mode or fit to the page mode where you can have it that's good so uh, this is how you create a completely functional, fully functional sales report or sales dashboard just within a few clicks and just within a few minutes. Let's say uh, I want the sales report only for central region like that and it's completely interactive. And let's say we don't want that, click outside and you will have 
everything back to the normal, right? And let's say I wanted to focus on a particular category, technology category alone. I have the sales happening and the subcategory of sales and what are the products over here, right? You'll have that and which is a country uh, happening to ship the most of them and what's the shipment more preferred by them and highest performing date or year. So here you can see 2022, June was the highest performance for sales and uh, the lowest one is somewhere here in March 2020 or something, right? So that's how you can create a fully interactive uh, dashboard or report based on sales data in a few minutes and in a few clicks. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial on the topic, how to create a completely functional sales report or sales dashboard in a few clicks and in a few minutes. And that's it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. And should you have any queries regarding any of the topic covered in this session, or if you require the data set or any resources that be used in this session during the entire tutorial, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts should be very happy to help you at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.